afternoon and thank you for joining us. Spring has sprung and it is time to recharge those batteries. And today we aim to give you a spring in your vitality step. Dr. Darren Green is going to explain what vitality is and how to unlock your energy. We're also going to find solutions to sore throats and for a meal rich in natural antioxidants and vitamin C, Chef Jay is going to whip up a delicious one pan lemon and olive chicken. Understanding vitality is key to living a healthy and fulfilling life. But what does it really mean and why is it so important? I'm so pleased to be joined by our old friend, Dr. Darren Green, who's here to help us unpack this essential aspect of wellness. Welcome back. It's so lovely Thank to you. have you on set. Good to be here. Now, when I think of vitality, I have to say, yep. you are one of the people that come to mind. Thank you, that's you a compliment. You always come on to set <laughs> bouncing and happy with a really positive energy. Thank you. Is that natural? Is that is that something that you work at? I think a lot of it is a absolute mental approach to okay. life. And uh, some of it you just wake up with in the morning, but there are days when you need to dig deep to actually make it part of your approach to the day. Speak to us about the days that you've got to dig deep, because you know, the yeah. reality is that there's a lot happening in life. There's a lot that's unpleasant. How do we get to that place where we can find healthy ways to hack our well-being and vitality. Good point. I think, firstly, have you seen someone or something in a situation where you, you, know, you want to move towards that? So find someone or, or behavior that attracts you, that you want to move towards, and then speak to people about what, make, what it is that actually makes them happy. Yeah. Doing more of what you actually enjoy that really, really hits the spot of you finding that, that inner form of contentment and purpose in life, I believe, is the thing you you need to be reminded the least to do. Okay. And those things come naturally to us. You know, yes. it's, not a, it's not a compulsion. So spend time obviously identifying role models and then obviously finding time to introduce more of what makes you truly happy into your life. Sure, we need to earn a living. We all need to work. But having touch points of those mm. things that ignite your soul needs to be part of finding vitality because the definition differs. Yes, what is the this. definition? So Oxford English Dictionary speaks about uh, vita, the origin of the word from Latin meaning life, but a capacity to live, grow and then develop. Okay. Whereas other platforms of health and wellness define it, for example, as a state that you're already in, a state of exuberant strength, physical strength, or mental vigor. So I think the take home message is that it's not just a physical meat box thing. It is yeah. a holistic approach and your approach to the world. It's, it's spiritual wellness, physical wellness, and psychological wellness all combined that leads to that bubbling up energy inside mm. of you to want to live longer and live a good quality of life. I love that, Doctor. If we were to unpack that into, you know, bite-sized habits that we can implement in our lives, what would that look like? Absolutely. So I think we all know things uh, in terms of discipline regarding what we call lifestyle health or lifestyle tips, but we, we rush them off in a, in a little uh, uh, rhyme that we do. Sleep, diet, exercise, stress <laughs> reduction, don't we? All of us. The, the, the cure to everything. But what? But it is the cure. It is the cure. Sleep is good. Diet is good. Movement so is good. good. Relaxation is yes, good. Yes, exactly. What's there, the but? There's so many. No, there's no buts. Okay. But what, what we need to know is why it's good. Because okay. then it keeps you motivated the knowledge. To, to just start with a small habit. You see, a lot of us don't, we don't want to do or execute the change because we think it's too small to make a big difference. Yes. But as wonderful uh, books and some of the greatest minds of our time, like Atomic Habits, the book, for example, yes. also points out, a small incremental change over a period of time leads to massive end outcome results. You speak about all of this from a holistic well-being point of view. If someone is in an emotional state where they're feeling really low and dark, how, how, do, oh, we, yeah. how do we get out of that to acquire some vitality in our lives? Firstly, choose the company you keep. So it's hard to do it if you're on your own. Can we repeat that? Choose, choose the, the company, company you keep. Don't surround yourself with people that are like, uh, you know, what they call vacuum cleaners that yes. plug into you and suck you dry of all Vampire your energy. Vampire energy yes. suckers. So we need to look at, I've got so much time available in my weekend, in my life. Who am I giving that time to? And who am I giving that privilege to in terms of speaking into my life, but also 
the energy I'm giving out. Yeah. So that might mean choosing how much time you allot for family members visiting on a weekend or even friends visiting on a weekend. Certain friends give energy, others take it away. And then your personality traits and your style of your persona also play a role. Sensory seekers are people that are stimulated and get energy from nice smelling food, malls, shopping centers, maybe noise, music ups them. Sensory avoiders are people that need quiet to recharge, getting away into a nature. Mm. And so, so people differ in terms of their profiles, sensory profiles. Yeah. And that's very important when trying to change your stars and trying so to change behavior. Know yourself, know your natural persona, and then act on what's necessary to get you out of that slump. Yeah. If you need quiet, then take yourself aside. Have the self-discipline to say no to going to an event or a social gathering that's just going to drain you even yes. more. You I know? love that, doctor. So, you know, you're speaking about this internal way of approaching your health and well-being, which is absolutely my language, like get still, go within, ask yourself, you know, how does my time and energy serve me right now when I spend time with X, Y, and Correct. Z? But I want to talk about the external environment yes. and I want to speak about IV bars in particular that seem to Good be one, popping yeah. up everywhere. What is your take on that in terms of increasing mm. your energy and vitality? Good, thanks for that. Our knowledge in science has now shown us that certain foodstuffs contribute towards increased inflammation in the body, yeah. which is a state of responding to something causing harm to the body. So now we're starting to unpack which kind of foodstuffs according to your uh, you know, makeup of your gut uh, yeah. and so forth cause inflammation and which don't. So now we can start making better informed decisions as to what should we be having lots of and what less of in terms yeah. of our life and yeah. planning? And that's a very big one. So understanding that IV bars are there for people, obviously, that are not consuming normal food nutrients, macronutrients, yes. like your, uh, your electrolytes, your, your metal trace elements, yes. etc. And then other things that form part of natural eating are things that release enzymes in the gut and keep the gut moving and mobile. Yeah. If you don't use a car and it sits in your garage for a period of 40 years, it's not going to just get onto the road and drive normally again. So for me, the first, uh, first choice is good balanced eating plans and not looking for artificial supplementation if the natural food stuff exists and good quality food stuff. That's provided you can afford good quality food and have access to it in the place in the world where you might be living. Yes. Doctor, it's always such a pleasure speaking to you and uh, you always give this incredible pulls of wisdom. I wish we could have you on for like three hours because you have so much to contribute. Thank you so much for that. Absolute pleasure. Nurturing our vitality can truly transform our health and our quality of life. We hope that today's discussion inspires you to take steps towards a more vibrant and energized life. On social media, we would like to know from you, what is your favorite way to recharge and renew your energy? And remember to use the hashtag Afternoon Express. After the break, we give you solutions to sore throats and make a berry and orange coconut smoothie to put a spring in your step. <laughs> 